Hi, Steve here at the SJCOE Fab Lab, and we have some pretty cool hardware with us. Um, let me show you how we can do some engineering with RVR, which I'll be referring referring to as Rover, uh, and little bits. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. A quick intro to little bits is that we have a few different types of little bits. Uh, if you have a blue little bit, that means uh, that it is power. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one to a battery. There we go. Oh, light's glowing. Okay, uh, if I have a green little bit, that is output. Let's see if this outputs energy, maybe the energy from the battery in some way. It, it does. Okay. Uh, we also have orange, uh, which are kind of like connecting. So let's see. I'm going to put one side of the wire here and one side here. Okay. Well, we've almost got every type. Oh, one more. Input. Pink is input. Uh, and this is a proximity sensor. So it's going to allow a signal uh, if something's nearby. So let's see. These connect by, by magnets, so it's really easy to connect them. All right. So depending on if something is there, we're getting output. And that's pretty much how the little bits work. Gonna turn it off, we wanna conserve energy, not be wasteful. All right, now we also are going to be working with Rover. Now Rover is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of what it does is it drives around and it does a good job of driving around. But another great thing about it is the ability to plug stuff into it and I am going to plug in USB to the rover. Now, I'm gonna use this double cord, uh, which is going to allow me to not need uh, the battery, but you could also use a single cord uh, and use the battery. So here we go. So that is plugged into the USB. This cord with the stripe uh, is going to go to my micro bit and we're gonna use this cord uh, to power what we create so let's see I'm just gonna wire this up really quickly I have a micro bit bit and a micro bit and these arrows show me which way to place it okay. now I have P0, P1, and P2, those are gonna be uh, the input pins. And I've got uh, P13, P14, P15, those are gonna be my output, okay? And I can code and make code uh, based on uh, whether a signal is going through on those pins, if it's coming in, or I can program it to go out. So I want what we're making to be able to respond uh, to a proximity sensor. So I'm going to put my proximity sensor on P0. Okay. I'm also going to make sure that power goes in through that. So I'm going to use this blue bit that connects uh, to USB. Okay. Uh, and output, I would like it to be able to play the buzzer noise. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on P14. And we can figure out some way to affix this. Uh, we might use something like a, um, a zip tie. But right now, uh, we're just dealing with the coding. We can deal with engineering the rest of it a little bit later. Okay, so I've got this wired. This is here. 
we would uh, connect it, but we're not really going to drive this around. We're just going to be looking at how it would work. Okay. Let's look at make code. So over here at make code, and I'm going to click on micro bit. I'm going to say new project. And I'm going to say RVR. Now we are going to go right to advanced. And what am I going to look for? Well, RVR. Okay, we're going to import the Spiro SDK software development kit. And now I have the ability to control the rover from make code. Now what I want to be able to do is to drive my uh, rover, but I also want to be able to stop it. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate that block. I want to be able to drive forward, and when do I want to drive forward? Well, when I press button A. But I also want it to stop, and I want it to stop uh, whenever it gets near something. So that proximity sensor, I could affix it, say, to the front of my rover, and say whenever it sends a signal, and the signal would come in on P0. Remember, we connected it to P0. So I'm going to look at my pins. And I'm going to say that I want to read from pin 0. So I can make a forever loop. And I can say, you know what? If I read that pin zero signal is high, or one, um, then I'm going to have it to stop. Okay, um, And you know what? I also want it to let me know that it needed to stop. So I'm going to send out a signal. On pin 14. So again, I can write a signal out to the out from the micro bit, or I can read one in. Great. All right. I'm also gonna just add in one more fun thing. If I press B, I would like my rover um, to light up. And I would also like to make sure, oop, I want to make this, I want to turn that on. That's, that's how I'm going to make it turn on. Um, and you know what I want it to be, but not forever. So I'm going to tell it to, uh, to pause for a second. So make the noise. Um, but then I'm going to have it to stop. OK, so let's see. If I press B, I want that should be approximately yellow. And in this case, we're just going to have it turn off. OK, so we've got several things going on here. And all I'm going to do is download my file to my micro bit. Okay, and the way that we can copy the file to the micro bit, uh, you'll notice right here, there's that menu. I'm going to click the menu until it's show in Finder. I'm going to plug this to a USB cable that's connected to my computer. Okay, I 
I think it's copying over. Perfect. You can tell because of the flashing yellow light. Okay, the file has copied over. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna plug in. I'm gonna make sure that the striped wire is plugged into the micro bit. The other wire is giving power. And we said P14 was going to get a signal. Okay. We've set up our device. Let's see how it does. All right. All right, this is going to be fun. Okay, let's press A. Okay. So it's already responding to the proximity sensor. Okay, I pressed the A button, it moved. Let's press the B button. Turned green, I'm gonna press both. Lights turn off. Let's see what happens when we press the proximity sensor. So, uh, it keeps running sometimes when it, uh, when we run our program because uh, it's not on the floor. So it's behaving just a little bit differently. That doesn't mean the program isn't a good program, okay? We're able to control input, output, and the rover with our little bits. Check it out.